All right, so we are at a commercial building and uh, we are working on some carpet. We clean periodically, but we haven't been here in about a year and a half. And it's a heavy use area, food, drinks, uh, visitors, you know, you name it coming in here, it's here. So uh, Rachel is currently pre-spraying the carpet. Uh, we're just using like a general cleaner, uh, almost neutral pH, but it's got a pretty good surfactant in it. So we're gonna try this first. And if this doesn't work, then we'll switch to something a little bit stronger. But uh, this is what we have already mixed up in the truck, and I think it'll do okay. I had really good success with it. She's uh, currently pre-spraying, and uh, so what, what it's happening is we got 200 degree water coming in, going through the sprayer. That's concentrate in there. That's the, uh, the cleaner itself. And what happens is as that water goes through there, it mixes the water with the cleaner, and then it sprays out on a carpet. That way it's diluted, it's the right pH, um, and it's being applied nice and evenly. Rachel does a pretty good job at this. That's why she's got her own truck, because she's awesome. And uh, she'll never admit that, but she'll tell me all the time that she's better than me. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so we're gonna work on getting out some of these really bad stains and spots and stuff, and uh, go from there. But you can see, you know, there's one spot there, there's a couple spots over there that are kind of rough. And she's being real precise with putting the cleaner on. Um, and yeah, and so that's just, you know, we're doing some carpet, we're cleaning the VCT while we're here. We just got done cleaning some uh, tiling grout. And so uh, we have our newest truck actually running on this job, uh, which is nice because it's super powerful. But yeah, so we're gonna, we're gonna find out if this works or not. Um, and if not, we're gonna switch to a stronger cleaner and then we'll get rid of these real bad spots. But I'm pretty sure they'll come out because we cleaned this last time. So it's not a residue issue. It's just, you know, somebody spilled something and it caused a residue issue and all the dirt stuck to it. That's why a lot of times the spots end up like that. So, I mean, it could be chocolate milk, dirt, you know, whatever, but chances are it's a residue from a sugary drink or something. So, I'm gonna pause this and then when we start cleaning, I'll go, be right back to you. All right, so here we go. Got the steam rolling out of it already. Nice. And like I said, this may or may not come out the first round, so if we get a, a stronger product, that's fine. But it's always nice to start at a safer pH. I mean, I can already see the difference in the camera. Pretty good. Steamy in here, Rach. Mm -hmm. Now we're bringing all the heat from the truck in. All that water going through there. And it's got a rinse agent in it. So no, there's no pre spray connected to it, so now it's rinse agent. And it's helping to flush away all the soils that are in the carpet. So that way there's no residue left behind. Oh, yeah, look, I can cut right through it. Nice. And there's gonna be some wear spots on here. Especially through here, when we cleaned the last time, there's a lot of wear. And some of this might be rust. That's definitely orange. But she usually does about, about this width, actually, in a home, too. You can see right here where she stopped and then she'll go back through and she'll do a dry pass and that dry pass is super important to get that carpet to where it dries you know typically in like an hour hour and a half max but yeah so that spot that was here that looked like that one it's all gone now now it's out in the truck and this is some fairly old berber this is a looped commercial carpet, and it's kind of all crushed down. Yeah, definitely making a difference.
Rachel's like, I'm doing this one. She loves clean and dirty carpet. <laughs> this is what OCD life looks like. That's why she's so good at what she does. We, we just keep cleaning it until there's no more change. Most of the time, everything comes out, so. Can't, can't reverse wear, and you can't reverse some stains when there's dye loss in the carpet, you know, bleach and stuff like that, where it actually strips the color out. Oh man, you can see the difference from clear over here, Rach. That's crazy. So this is a uh, 14 inch titanium wand, four jet. You can see you got a Teflon glide on there and that lets us go from carpet to hardwood floor or tile or ceramic, even glass. We have clients that have glass floors and uh, it'll let you go from one service to another without scratching it, so yeah. Stand back here so everyone doesn't get sick by all the movement. Looks great though. Awesome. Yeah, so we're about 200 feet away from the truck. And uh, that steam is still coming in super hot. And that's why you can see it there. Making one heck of a difference. All right, well, I hope you guys had a great day. And uh, we're gonna be here for a little while longer getting some more stuff done. But if you need uh, your carpets clean, or your tile, or your VCT, or air ducts, just let us know. Give us a call, 814-547-1848, and uh, we'll get you on the schedule, get you ready for winter. So, hey, Rach, can you run right through the middle of that stain so we can show them if it comes out or not? And that's a yes. Awesome.